buttercups. So today, I haven't filmed in a while because I haven't had anything to film because of quarantine. So today, I have decided that I'm gonna show y'all how I make my ma macaroni and cheese in a mug. A uh, normal macaroni and cheese recipes like here in the south are like made for like side dishes or like a full on meal. So like, normally when I would make it, I would have to make a big pot and my mom would get mad at me. And I remember, oh, I can make it in a mug. So that's what I've been doing. So I'm gonna show you how to make macaroni in a mug. Okay, so the things you'll need is a preferably large mug. Um, this is just well i am microwavable safe because you'll be microwaving for a very long period of time and then a bowl to put the mug in because the water can overflow so this is to catch overflow of water uh you need a fourth a cup of pasta um it doesn't matter what pasta you use i use either elbow or shells um, I'll show you that real quick. Do your shells. Um, you need a fourth a cup of that. You need a half a teaspoon of cornstarch. Um, then you'll need four tablespoons of milk. This is lactose free milk uh, because, yeah. I don't know, yeah, because I just, I don't know why I use lactose-free milk because I use real cheese, but whatever. It helps a little bit with the lactose. And then the rest, I don't measure. The rest, I kind of just like. So you'll need, I use block cheddar cheese and grate it myself because I feel like it melts easier and tastes better. You can use whatever you want. I put as much cheese as I want and nobody gonna tell me how much cheese going on my mac and cheese. Um, butter uh, I just you know take about a tablespoon of butter and put it in there salt and pepper and then I put a dash of garlic powder because I like a uh, garlic so now I'm going to show you how to make it okay so first what you're gonna do is fourth a cup pasta to measure that out without making a mess in mug and then you're going to put a pinch of salt in there and then I just fill the water up about um to here in the mug because uh you want to be able to keep uh, putting it in the microwave and boiling it without having to add more water and salt. So I just put a lot of water, um, a heaping pinch of salt for flavoring, and then water. So. I don't know if you can see it, and of course you can't. It's pretty far up there. Um, and then you're going to and put it in the microwave. Is um, going in into the microwave there, and then I'm gonna do it for about seven minutes and see how far that gets us. The pasta that I'm using is weird and it's made for more like um, cup macaroni. So I just cook it until the pasta is, you know, soft and tender. Next what you need is cheese, grater, plate to put the cheese on. In the background, you're hearing the uh, pasta boil. So, I use block. I like block cheese because it tastes better to me. It's also cheaper. Crazy, right? Uh, it's actually cheaper to buy this stuff than um, shredded. Crazy, right? I just honestly think it tastes better. 
Um, you can use whatever cheese you want. I just use normal extra sharp cheddar um, because it's normal. I've put um, Parmesan in it before and it tasted, of course, just fine. Parmesan is amazing. It's just, you know, cheddar cheese is the classic. Um, there greater on plate and you just great um oh. well don't break the plate doing it um so i guess while i great how is everybody um i haven't posted in a while and uh i don't really have a following so i don't know why i care but um just trying to get a following so if you see this um, make the recipe subscribe like um, I'm just doing this to have fun and you know everyone just does YouTube for fun right because it's hard to make a living out of it now so like I said I put um, as much cheese as I want so it's as much as you want so I'll be back and show y'all the grated cheese so with about uh, two minutes or less on the pasta I have this much cheese and I say that's about enough for me so yeah I'll show you it um, like I said I'm using lactose free milk but I'm using real cheese which makes no sense but um use whole milk if you can if not get vegan cheese and um lactose free milk or Whatever milk, it should work. Um, because you add a bunch of stuff in there that thickens it itself. So yeah, I'll check back with y'all when the pasta's done and we can get to mixing and making. Okay, so the pasta is done. And of course, like normally in boiling pasta, you have to strain it. So I take a little strainer like this and strain the water out. And then back in. And then you have your pasta. Okay. Hot. So the the mug is going to be very hot when it comes out. Um, so be careful. Um, but it does depend on what mug you use. This mug just tends to get hot, and that's just something that I deal with. So now for the um, other ingredients. So next I put in four tablespoons of milk like the recipe says. So. That was a little less than four because I added a little too much, but that's okay. The milk is done. And then I add the half a tablespoon of cornstarch. Now the reason why you add cornstarch is to thicken it. Um, so a normal macaroni and cheese, you would make a roux, and that roux would be butter and flour. Now you can do that same thing with this one. It's just, um, what I've seen, we've had to add a lot of flour, and then your, um, your stuff can get very floury. So, um, uh, I would recommend cornstarch. Um, then I add a pinch of salt. Pepper. Garlic powder. I just sprinkle a little bit. And then butter. And then half of your cheese. Half the cheese. And then mix. Now you can, after, you can put more cornstarch and you can put more, um, whatever. 
after you put it back into the microwave for 60 seconds. Um, just to melt the cheese, get the cornstarch and the milk incorporated. Um, just, you know, get everything incorporated. And then I add the rest of my cheese and whatever extra I want to add. So this is going to go in back into the microwave for six as you see it is steaming so it just came out and then what you're going to do is mix it um of course as it cools it will thicken up um but i always add more cheese because i absolutely love cheese and the cheese will help with the thickening of the sauce um, but like i said you can always add more cornstarch uh, but not too much because you don't want it to be uh, gritty of course but yeah add more cheese um i might add just a tad bit more cornstarch i do think that's enough though <laughs> yeah. And there you go. Um, that is the finished product. I'll show you close up. As you see, it's just a serving size of macaroni and cheese. Um, it's not going to be the thickest sauce ever because it's the microwave and the microwave isn't precise. But yeah, now let's try it. So I never know how it's going to taste because, um, of course, like I said, it could turn out whichever way. It could turn out terrible, it could turn out great. It depends on uh, what happens. Uh, so yeah, let's try it. Mm, that's good. Um, cheesy, buttery, milky, garlicky. Great. So yeah. Um, I just used the, the only thing I stick to to the recipe is the four tablespoons of milk, the amount of cornstarch, and the amount of pasta. Um, the rest I just do whatever and it usually works. Like I said, about a tablespoon of butter I add in and then I add in, um, garlic, even though it just calls for salt and pepper. And I use grated cheese instead of, us uh, just bag shredded cheese um but you can make it however you want to make it vegan make it vegetarian make it with whole milk and like with cream milk real cheese fake cheese whatever you want um because this is a really easy snacky recipe so please like subscribe tell me what else you want me to do um i actually have something i want to make that's pretty cool it's a great depression recipe for an apple pie but instead of apples use rich crackers Crazy, right? Ripped crackers on apple pie with the crap. Yeah, let me know if you want me to make that and try it out. Like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!